Hello, welcome back. Today what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be taking a look at a worksheet and the name of our worksheet is called Jane's Pencil Case. And we've got Jane here and here's her pencil case that she keeps all of her things in. What we're gonna do is we're gonna first look at the directions. The directions say, look at the bar graph of things in Jane's pencil case and answer the questions. Check the right answers. So this is a bar graph. A bar graph is a graph that represents information. So let's look at both sides of this graph here. The first side has some numbers, starting one, going all the way up to seven. This side down here has different categories, and the categories are pens, pencils, erasers, and rulers. So these are the things that are in Jane's pencil case, and these bars go up to different numbers, like pins goes up to six, pencils go all the way up to seven. So each one of these represents a different number, and that tells us how many things are in her case. So let's look at the questions here and let's answer our questions. Number one says, how many pins are there in the pencil case? So let's go to our graph. The question is asking, and I'm actually gonna circle this. Sometimes I like to do this. I like to circle so I know exactly what I'm looking for. So how many pins are there in the pencil case? So we're gonna go up in our graph and we're gonna find pins, and that's this first one right here. And we're gonna count how many there are in her pencil case. Our bar graph, shows us that it goes all the way up here. So let's count, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six. It goes all the way up right here to six. So there are six pins in her pencil case. So we're gonna check the correct answer right here. So I'm gonna put a check next to the number six. Okay, number two says, how many erasers are there? I'm gonna underline that and then I'm gonna go up and find erasers. I've got pens, pencils, erasers, there it is. So there's erasers. How many erasers are there? Well, let's look. It goes all the way up to here. We don't even have to count them. We're gonna go all the way across and we're gonna measure. Where does that go to? It goes to the number three, right? So we've got three erasers. So I'm gonna put a check right here next to the number three, okay? The next one says, how many pencils are there in the case? I'm gonna underline that. How many pencils? Let's go up, let's find our pencils. Pens, pencils, there it is. So it says how many pencils are in the case? And we're not gonna count them, we're just gonna look at our bar graph. Where does the top of this bar go up to? It goes all the way up to the number seven, right? So that's our correct answer. So we're gonna come down here, we've got 10, nine, there it is, seven, right here, okay? How many pens and pencils are there together? Now this one's kind of tricky because we're looking for pens and we're looking for pencils, and then when it says how many are there together, what does that mean that we need to do with those two numbers? Do we need to add them or do we need to subtract them? we need to add them, right? When you say how many are there together, the word together is kind of a clue word to let us know that we need to add. So let's first, let's write over to the side on the board here, how many pins are there? And we already found the answer, but the answer for pins is there's six. So we're gonna take six, and then we're gonna add how many pencils are there? How many pencils did we say there are? There are seven, right? So we're gonna add these together. Now, if you already know how to add them, you already know what the answer is, or we can do something else. We can draw a picture, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna count on to six, but I'm gonna draw seven items here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I want you to count with me. We're gonna count on to six. So six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. So our answer is going to be 13. So let's come down here and find that answer. And there it is, it's the first one, isn't it? 13 all together, okay? And then we're gonna go to our last one. You're doing such a great job of reading that data in our graph and answering our questions. Number five says, how many things are there in all in Jane's pencil case, okay? So what exactly is that question asking? Let's read it again. How many things are there in all in Jane's pencil case? Well, 
how many are there in all? What is that asking us to do? Think about it. In all, all of them means that we have to do what? We have to add all of these numbers of the items in her pencil case, okay? Let's just write out each one of these. So how many pens are there? I'm gonna keep organized. I'm gonna write pens, and then I'm gonna add pens, okay? And then I'm gonna add pencils. How many pencils are there? There's seven pencils, and I wanna write pencils underneath, so I know that I've done that one. Pencils plus erasers. How many erasers? There are three erasers. I'm gonna write erasers. And then plus our rulers. How many rulers are there? There's just one ruler, right? So we're gonna add all of these numbers together, okay? So this is what we're gonna do. The pens plus pencils, the six plus seven, we know that that is 13, right? So we're gonna add on to 13, we're gonna add three plus four. So I'm gonna write this over to the side. 13, which is our six plus our seven, plus three plus one, okay? And I'm gonna write it this way so we can add it all up. So three plus three is six, plus one is seven, okay? And then I'm gonna take the one and I'm gonna bring it down, which gives me this answer. This is how many things there are in all in Jane's pencil case. So what is the answer? The answer is 17. So let's find that down here and put a check next to the number 17. Great job. This is really difficult to do because there's a lot of things that you had to think about. You had to figure out how many things there were in the chart and what the chart meant, what it was talking about, and then you had to answer all of these questions. And on four and five, we had to add them up and do something with that information. That was a lot of really hard work today, but you guys did an amazing job. I will see you guys again next time. Bye-bye. Subscribe to our channel to stay updated on new videos. Find links to our apps in the comments below.